Sydney Dane Sellers, 14, was the total package. The Pell City High School freshman excelled in the classroom and beyond. But Sydney had secrets. Things had been happening in her young life that her parents knew nothing about and learned only after they found her hanging from a belt that was looped around her loft bed. On Sunday, December 7, 2014, the 14-year-old was found in her room unresponsive by her mother. The budding student had been bright and cheery all day. How did she end up like that? Sellers' mother, Jennifer Sellers, didn't ask for an autopsy, and the coroner didn't perform one. A month later, Jennifer made a shocking discovery. Investigators returned her daughter's cell phone to her at her request. Friends said she was being bullied at school because of her boyfriend. On the phone, Sellers found Kick Messenger, a phone app that police say is one of the most dangerous because of the anonymity it allows. It is, they say, a playground for child predators. The phone opened up a text conversation that apparently was ongoing when Sydney died. It was about erotic asphyxiation, or breath control play, which is the intentional restriction of oxygen to the brain for the purposes of sexual arousal. What does Sellers think led to Sydney's death? My child was literally being attacked from two different huge parts of her life, she said. School is like a third of a kid's life. What they do on social media is another third. The rest they are sleeping and eating. Literally two-thirds of her life was coming at her in a bad way. Sellers is sharing her horrific experience because she wants schools, parents, and other kids to be warned and beware. Bullying at school and on the Internet needs to be addressed, she said. So do the anonymous apps that link predators with their prey.